Greek Prime Minister Tsipras freezes privatizations, markets tumble. Leftist Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras threw down an open challenge to international creditors on Wednesday by having privatizations plans agreed under the country's bailout deal, prompting a third day of heavy losses on financial markets. A swift series of announcements signaled the newly installed government would stand by its anti-austerity pledges, setting it on a collision course with European partners led by Germany, which had said it would not renegotiate the aid package needed to help Greece pay its huge debts. Cyprus, who was congratulated by U.S. President Barack Obama in a phone call for his decisive election vi victory on Sunday, told the first meeting of his cabinet members that they would not, could not afford to disappoint voters battered for by a plunge in living standard under austerity. After announcing a halt to the privatization of the port of Piraeus on Tuesday, for which China's group Costco Group, Costco.ul, and for others had been shortlisted, the government indicated it would put the whole pro program on hold. It said it would stop the sale of stakes in the Public Power Corporation of Greece, DEHR.AT, Greece's biggest utility, and refiner, Hellenic Petroleum, HEPR.AT, and put other planned asset sales of motorways, airports, and the power grid on ice. The government also plans to reinstate public sector employees, judges to have judged to have been laid off unfairly, including a group of finance ministry cleaners whose case attracted public publicity last year and announced rise rises in pensions for retired people on low incomes. Uncertainty over the new government's relation with the European Union went beyond economic policy. A day after the EU is expected to extend sanctions against Russia for six months, Greece's energy minister said the country was against sanctions. Athens had already dissent dissented over a joint statement for the bloc in Ukraine on Tuesday. Tsipras, who met Russia's ambassador to Athens on Monday, and the Chinese envoy the next day told ministers that the government would not seek a mutually destructive clash with creditors. But he warned that Greece would not back down from demanding a renegotiation of debt. Quote, We are coming in to radically change the way the policies and administration are conducted in this country, he said. Financial markets have taken fright. Greek bank stocks, FTAT, BNK, plummeted more than 26% on Wednesday, taking their cumulative losses since the election to over 40%. The overall Athens stock market fell over 9%, .ATG, while Greek five-year government bond yields hit around 13.5%. This marked their highest level since a 2012 restructuring, which wrote off a large portion of Greek debt held by private investors. Reflecting the concern, Standard & Poor's cut its outlook on Greek sovereign debt to negative from stable. Deputy Prime Minister Yanis Jasakis sought to reassure markets, saying private investors would be taken into account when the administration implements actions. But the business world remained skeptical. You've got a government that's anti-privatization, so I think all privatization will be put on hold, said one industry banker who spoke on condition of anonymity. The reality is, if you're a new owner, do you want to have a government who doesn't like you? Best to move on to the next thing. Not easy. Newly appointed Finance Minister Yanis Varoufakis, who on Friday meet Jerome Gisebloom, head of the Eurozone's Finance Ministers Group, said negotiation would not be easy but he expected the sides would find common ground. Quote, there won't be a duel between Greece and Europe, he said at his first meeting with reporters since taking office. Varoufakis said he would meet the finance ministers of France and Italy, both countries which have pressed for change of course in Europe from right budget orthodoxy in the coming days. France has ruled out a straight cancellation of Greeks' debt, about 80% of which is held by other Eurozone governments and multinational organizations such as the IMF. However, Paris has said it would be open to talks on making Greece's debt burden more sustainable and Cyprus is expected to meet President Francois Hollande before EU summit 
on February 12th. The response from Germany was frosty. Economic Minister Sigmar Gabriel said Athens should have discussed the halt to privatizations with its partners before making an announcement. Quote, citizens of other Euro states have a right to see that the detailed link to their acts of solidarity are upheld, he said, adding that it would be the wrong solution for Greece to quit the Euro, but it would up to the Athens to decide. Fears that talks between the new government and its creditors will break down with unforeseeable consequences for Greeks' future in Europe fueled a third successive day of turmoil on the markets. However, despite the air of crisis, some observers thought a deal was possible that could satisfy both Athens and Berlin. A French diplomatic source said he expected that February 28th deadline with the European lenders would probably be extended. Quote, it's not decided yet because there needs to be an agreement and the Germans and the Finns must go back to their parliament, but will probably extend the expiration date of the program the source said. Cyprus said the government would pursue balanced budgets but would not seek to build up unrealistic surpluses to serve Greece's masses public debt of more than 175% of gross domestic product. Priorities will be helping the weakest sections of society with policies to attack cronyism and corruption, reduce waste, and cut Greece's record unemployment. Thank you for watching the Shigama Live Show.